Hey guys, let's talk about Rachel Marie Mellon. Rachel was born on October 13th, 1982 and has been missing since January 31st, 1996 from Bolingbrook, Illinois. At the time of her disappearance, she was 13 years old, 5 feet tall, and between 62 and 80 pounds. She's an Asian female with black hair and hazel eyes. Rachel has a mole on the upper left side of her lip and her ears are pierced. She may use the last name Skemp, possibly in conjunction with the name Melon, as in Melon Skemp or Melon Skemp without the hyphen. And some agencies refer to her as Rachel Melon Skemp. She may appear to be of Italian or Greek descent. Rachel was a 7th grader at Ward Middle School in 1996. On January 31st of that year, she stayed home from school due to a sore throat. She was last seen taking a nap in her bedroom at her family's residence sometime during the afternoon. She was wrapped in a blue blanket at the time. Her stepfather, Vincent Mellon, last saw her. Vincent stated he and Rachel played video games together, then he fell asleep and left the house to take the family's German Shepherd for a walk at 2.30 p.m. He left the door unlocked while he was gone. He said the dog slipped off his leash to chase a rabbit, and as a result, he was gone longer than he intended to be. He didn't return to the house until half an hour later. Authorities maintained that Vincent never checked on Rachel when he returned home, but he stated that he did indeed notice his stepdaughter disappeared after he finished the walk. Rachel was apparently reported missing to investigators at around 5 p.m. when her mother, Amy Mellon, and some other family members arrived home. She's never been heard from again. Two pillows and the blue blanket she was wrapped in were also missing. Her winter clothes, shoes, and coat were not taken, even though the wind chill was 20 degrees below zero that day. Her purse and Walkman were also left behind at a residence. There were no indications of forced entry. An extensive search of the surrounding area turned up no signs of Rachel. Authorities stated she could not have survived long as she was outside and exposed to the elements. Initially, it was thought that some of Rachel's relatives had taken her out of the state, but that theory has since been discarded. Her bank account has not been touched since her disappearance, and there is no evidence that she'd purchased pla a plane or a bus ticket to go anywhere. Vincent gave blood, semen, saliva, and hair samples to authorities in 2000 when Rachel's case was reopened and a grand jury was con convened to investigate. Authorities obtained a warrant to get the samples. Amy stated that she believed Rachel was alive and other persons knew her where whereabouts. The Mellon's family's attorneys said that the case was being reinvestigated due to interest from the television program America's Most Wanted, which wanted to run a segment regarding Rachel's disappearance. Authorities have stated that they believe foul play was involved in Rachel's disappearance. Vincent has been considered a possible suspect in her case for several years. He has scratches on his body after her disappearance. He said he was injured while repairing his car. He has a long record of domestic violence and he failed a lie detector test in connection with Rachel's disappearance. The grand jury investigation ended in 2000 with, without any indictments handed down. Rachel ran away and stayed at a friend's home over a year before her 1996 disappearance. She voluntarily returned home shortly after her departure. Authorities do not believe she ran away in 1996. She kept a diary which, which police read after her disappearance. In one entry written months before she vanished, she wrote that Vincent had kissed her and touched her inappropriately. Rachel's father, Jeff Skemp, was living in Dallas, Texas at the time of her disappearance. He had separated from Amy when Rachel was a toddler. Skemp stated that the day Rachel vanished, she telephoned his mother. He said this was out of the ordinary for Rachel as she was not allowed to talk to her grandmother. Rachel was an honor student at the time of her disappearance and her favorite school, and her favorite school subject was science. She was interested in recycling in nature. Skemp keeps his phone number listed in case Rachel tries to contact him, but he believes she met with foul play. He held a memorial service for her in 2006. Amy and Vincent moves away from the area sometime after 1996. Rachel's disappearance remains unsolved and no arrests have been made in connection with her case, but her disappearance is being investigated as a homicide. If you have any information, please call the Bolingbrook Police Department at 630-226-0600.